Hi everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue down the road of dialogues. Um, this will be our last uh, tutorial on dialogues, uh, as a, there are no more. Um, but if you guys would like me to make any uh, specialized dialogues or whatever and uh, you know have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, also in the uh, description below I have a link to the documentation. Um, so anyway, so let's get started. We're going to make file dialog here and uh, to get started we're going to need another button obviously and we don't need an ID for this. And we're going to say open file dialog and we will call our object of file dialog. Okay, that's good. And then we have our text and this is starting to get a little bit bigger so what we're going to do here is we're going to say this is our dialogs. Okay, so go down to the bottom here and what we're going to do is we are going to make a file dialog. And what we're going to do is name it file dialog. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a on accepted, just like all the rest of the dialogs. And uh, for now, that's it. Um, so, a little bit about file dialog. Um, so, when you open it up, it tries to find what is native to your operating system. This works really well on uh, Android, iOS, uh, Windows, Mac. Linux can be a little bit uh, finicky. Um, there is uh, a, a, uh, uh, a no matter what, so to say, one that will open up. And you'll see that here in a second. Um, it works pretty well on GNOME. KDE, I've had some issues with. Uh, other, you know, desktop environments I've had some issues with. Uh, best to maybe just make your own file dialog and set it as a environmental, uh, I'm sorry, your own file manager. Um, anyways, moving forward here, let's open it up and take a look and see what it looks like. Um, so this spacing is getting out of control. So we open it up and as you, like I said, it, it goes right to where you built at by default and here's all the files and if there were folders, folders would be listed there also too. So let's just go ahead and press the cancel button and close this down and as I said that spacing is out of control so let's change that down to maybe say five. Um, and let's go down here and uh, Again, if you wanted to make it open up and say a different folder, you could use folder and then there is a shortcuts, um, you could say dot home and that would open up underneath uh, the user's home directory um, or your home directory, uh, whoever's making this. Um, there's also movies and videos and so on and so forth. I think it's all inherent of uh, Q's uh, standard paths. Um, not sure on that one, take a look at the docs for that. Anyways, so let's see what happens here. Let's let's do this. Let's say um, unaccepted. We'll say t dot text is now equal to this dot file URL. Now let's see this. By default, I think this thing only allows me to be able to select one file. One. Yeah. See, I can only select one. I'm holding the control button and I click it, and it only allows me to select one. We hit the open button, and here it is. It's changed our thing. So let's make it so we can have multiple ones here. We will say, uh, um, I think it's select multiple. Yeah. We'll set that to true. Now, um, let's do this. Let's say uh, select multiple. Uh, and we will make t.text, uh, we'll say t. Dot, Actually, if we're selecting multiple, let's just console log out uh, this dot file URLs. So our plural here, um, and then we're going to say else, uh, you know, t dot text. Uh, so let's try this. Let's run this and uh, open up our file dialog. And in here, we can hear. And now I press Control, and now I can select multiple ones hit the open button, go back over to our console over here, and as you can see here it is, and it separates it as an array. So we could very easily start pushing that kind of stuff to a model if we wanted to, or do anything we would do with an array. Um, yeah, so there's also, you can also filter things out pretty well with this thing. Um, so we could say like, yeah, n name filters, right? So I'm going to use wildcard expression here, um, and we'll say anything dot o, and uh, in our array here, we'll say uh, 
or string list or whatever, we'll say uh, anything dot uh, cpp, right? Um, now we save and run this right here, and we'll open up our file dialog right here, and you'll see that only O's, uh, only our object files, and only the .cpp files, which is fun. Um, that's nice um, and uh, fine and dandy. Uh, let's set this thing back to be false. Run this again with the name filters on there, and we open up our file dialog, and we can select the object out, and there it is. That's fun. Um, we can make it so it's select folders. So we'll set this to true, and now when we run this, um, and we actually open up our file dialog, nothing is shown here because we cannot select anything because there are no folders. If I am to go back a directory, Whoa, that thing crashed on me. That's not good. Uh, oh, it's because I hit the enter button. Um, yeah, that's not good. Choose that, and then there it is. It actually let us choose the folder. Um, and yeah, that was that. Uh, we can set that equal to false. And we should get back our name filter with things in it. And there it is. And open that up. Um, there are a couple more filters, uh, select existing, um, and uh, yeah, we can uh, do quite a bit of things with this. Uh, but yeah, this, you know, go through the docs, uh, it's pretty straightforward as usual. Um, we covered most of them. We didn't put a title on it, but we know what that is from previous tutorials. There's our main filter with our list. We know what modularity is, the folder, and uh, file URLs versus file URL. We covered that. And uh, selected name filters, We can uh, you can read up on that. Basically, um, it's after you selected it, you know, uh, you know, it goes through it, basically. It's nothing big. Um, anyways. This is Joseph, and uh, be nice to everybody out there. And uh, that's File Dialogues, and this concludes our Dialogues uh, tutorial section. All right, take care now.